Ten people who took part in last month's protests across Nigeria have been charged with treason and other serious offenses at the federal high court in the capital, Abuja. All of the accused pleaded not guilty. The demonstrations, dubbed 10 Days of Rage, were called in response to the extremely tough economic times many are living through. They turned violent in some places as protesters clashed with security forces leaving at least seven dead, according to police, though rights groups have put the death toll at 23. There were also nearly 700 arrests. As well as treason, the 10 who appeared in court on Monday were charged with the destruction of public property and injuring police officers. They were accused of working with a British citizen to destabilize Nigeria by calling on the military to take over government from President Bola Ahmed Tinubu, according to the charge sheet. They allegedly shouted, Tinubu must go. It is soldiers we want. Despite an appeal that the 10 accused should be bailed as they had already been held for a month, the court decided that they would remain in custody. Rights group Amnesty International earlier criticized the legal process and called the trial a sham. Last month, it called for investigations into the killings during the protests. Demonstrations in all major Nigerian cities began on August 1 with people chanting slogans such as, We are hungry and end bad governance. The protests, organized through social media, were in part inspired by the success of demonstrators in Kenya who forced the government to scrap plans to increase taxes. In some parts of the country curfews were imposed. The authorities said the protest had been hijacked by thugs who engaged in widespread looting and the destruction of property. Nigeria is experiencing its worst economic crisis in a generation. Annual inflation stands at more than 30%. Food prices have risen even faster. For example, in the commercial hub, Lagos, yams, a staple food, are almost four times more expensive than last year. 